Now, there's certain things that happen in your life that you just don't forget. Your first kiss, your first job, your first car. Some of those things you wouldn't necessarily like to relive, but some you would. Oh yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to Off Course with the Robinsons. This video, you've only got one Robinson. There's a big reason why Laura's not in this video. <laughs> she, she has no idea that I've done this. So the next video will be Laura's reaction to this. Um, yeah, I have, I, I have, I've, yeah, I bought it back. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I nearly fell over then. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is right. I've brought back my very own 08 Ford KA, or car, or ka. I, I had one of these for years and I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce it, but it's the exact, I think it's the exact almost one. I, let's, shall we have a look? So guys, as you can probably tell, I am buzzing about this. If you want to see more content around this, make sure you do smash that subscribe button below. It is a 2008 Ka ZTEC. Like I said, it's the exact model which I had. Um, it's not, to be honest, it's not in too bad a condition. 08 plate, like I said, so it's the exact age of mine. We're gonna talk all things external first before we take it for a drive. I haven't yet driven it really. I've driven it like from my house to here which is about 200 yards, and the smile on my face was ridiculous. I got the car from Showfield Autos over in West Yorkshire, and they were absolutely fantastic delivering it, obviously COVID friendly and things like that. So I haven't really test drove it either, but the promise me it's in good condition. It's got 50,000 miles on the clock and it's 12 years old. I'll tell you how much I paid for it later in this video, but one thing which struck me straight away, and this happens a lot on them, someone's debadged it, sort of. Like I've got no idea why you do that because I mean, you can't, it's not gonna, look, it's a Porsche, not really. One of the massive talking points for me is the alloys on these cars. So these are obviously a little bit of homage to the Mini Cooper alloys. And if I would have bought the Mini Cooper alloys by themselves, they would have cost more money than the car. Can you tell how happy I am? Guys, make sure you do hit the subscribe button to this video or to this channel because I need to recoup some money for it or Laura might well kill me. The next video is going to be really interesting. Also on the car, it is in black. I've got no idea if it's got like a special name for black, but it's Ford K black. You may notice this. Um, that to me says it was probably in some kind of auction or something. I quite, I think it gives it some character. So I'm going to leave that on to be quite honest. Um, oh, it's got a spoiler as well. There's a really, really cool story about this spoiler. Um, well, I'll, I'll tell you when we drive, but it's not really that cool, to be honest. As we, one thing, I'm so excited, I don't know where to go next. Uh, we need the, don't tell me I've locked the keys in. Oh, thank the Lord, where is it? It's here. It did only come with one key, so I'm very, very worried that I'm gonna lock the keys in there. The boot space is, um, yeah, the boot, I, um, right, so that doesn't work. That's, I, I do know what I've bought here. I don't think that it's gonna be perfect. It'll stay there. Ah, oh, it stays, it stays. The boot space, um, yeah, there's definitely gonna be a video how many golf clubs we can fit in there. I don't know how I used to, like I had this when I was golfing like full time almost. It's gonna be interesting. So that's the boot space. We'll take the GoPro because we need that. So you can shut there. And as we get inside, so one of the things that, oh, honestly, it's exactly the same, exactly the same, exactly the same blue seats, exactly the same little gear knob with no central thing. So I remember when I first got a car that had like a central pack here, uh, and I felt like I was the bee's knees. Ford KA entertainment system, which works. Oh, if I fall over. Bit of radio on. Do I need to turn it up? Well, it did work a minute ago. Maybe when the car's going. Um, and we also have what Porsche would call the sports chrono pack. I'm not sure if that does anything to the 0 to 60 time, but it does tell me the time, which is very, very handy. Apart from, have I got the keys? Yeah. Apart from all that, I'm absolutely buzzing with this and I have got a private plate to go on it as well. Laura's gonna, honestly, Laura might well not marry me after this, so. We're here for a good time, not a long time, is what I keep telling myself. I did tell you guys there was car content coming. 
I'm hoping it gets better than this, but this is what we've got for now. The first car. Yes! Let's get inside. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is exactly why I bought this. This is exactly why I wanted to do this video because 12 years ago I got one of these. Let's, uh, let's start her up. Put her into gear. <laughs> Oh, that noise, that noise. Right, so, one, if I can get that. So, apologies if I like the Michelin man as well, it is freezing today and the heating, um, well, let's see if the radio does work now, the engine's on. Yes! I'll turn that off for a music claim. Right, so we're gonna go on a, we're gonna go on a little cruise nearly stalled then. Uh, that really would be bringing it back, wouldn't it? So, 1.3 litre petrol engine. 1,297 cc to be precise, and you can just flip it around corners. This is so enjoyable. Not to 60 time, 13, 13.7, I think it is seconds, maybe even 13.9. Maybe I'm being a bit generous there, but that's not why, certainly not why I had it as a first car, but not why you would have it as a car. We'll wait for this uh, Sirocco to go past. That's the car that I wanted for my first car, but um. We'll go, we'll go. You can pull off the, oh, nearly wheel spun there as well. I feel like a teenager again. One of the things I love about this car is it's got tiny wheels. It's got really thin little tires on there. They cost about 50p to replace. So you can have a little bit of fun with it. The acceleration, it happens. It, I, I'm, it does happen. And I remember throwing this in and out of corners. I never had an accident in it, touch wood. And I hope to never have an accident in this one. And people are going to say, why have you bothered doing this? What is the point in doing this? You're wasting money, you're wasting time. We're in a lockdown, there's not a lot to do. This is kind of classed as work because we are making a few pennies off the new channel now. So thank you everyone to that. And I did say, I did threaten that I wanted this to be a car channel. So here it is, 2008 Ford KA. Yes! <laughs> that noise, <laughs> that beep. There's a, there's a few things in, oh, I think they think I'm beeping at that. There's a few things in this car which aren't ideal. I'm going to take it, actually. There's a big hill near us. If you live local, it's Hall and Swain Hill. You'll know it. And I used to have to drive up it quite often. Um, and we're going to have bike point and go. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, I've been looking at getting maybe a, a sporty car or something. And I've been torn between getting a manual and a, like an automatic, maybe a PDK or a DSG or, or whatever brand you get. And this has made my mind up. This is a, obviously a, a five-speed manual, reverses round the corner, and I'm having so much fun with it. Like, just, you know, just if you do want to just drop it into third and just get your foot down and not really go anywhere. <laughs> it's, um, it's missing, it's missing a, a, obviously a faster engine. These are cheap as chips. So when I got this, I think I got it brand new when I was 17, it cost about eight grand. Um, and I picked this up, so I promised the service cost, I picked this up, 1200 pounds so 1200 pounds from the guys at Showfield Autos in West Yorkshire. Huge thanks to them for starting this out. They said they might even want it back off me once I'm done with it. I don't think I'm ever going to be particularly done with this. I'm trying to keep up with the Mercedes in front and it, it really does remind you have to really give it some to try and get anywhere. Uh, I'm told it does quite good MPG. I did read it but I forgot it. I think it's about 40 something. Uh, never going to be a car journalist, but don't want to. See, we're going up this hill now, and I really just have to... Ah, come on, are we going to red line? You've got no chance of overtaking anyone. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll sit back. I'll sit back, I'll go in fourth. I think to get up the hill, I'm going to have to drop it back down to third at some point. But that's fine, that's okay. To say this is a 12-year-old car, I'm going to say this before it breaks runs like an absolute dream like it doesn't I, i've got in this and i feel exactly the same as i felt in my car kind of 10 12 years ago the mercedes has gone for an overtake and i'm i'm sorry <laughs> but i'm happy i'm happy smiles for miles i think this is going to return quite a lot until laura sees it because then i wasn't joking that she hasn't seen it yet so it's Valentine's Day soon, so I'm going to tell her it's a, it's a Valentine's Day present, which I think could be quite cool. See, now we're going up quite a steep hill. I'm in fourth, 
and struggling to get up to 50 miles an hour. We'll drop into third and um, yeah, that's pretty much all we've got. I'm not going to try and go for an overtake because uh, I'm not 17 anymore. It's amazing how when I got this car, 1.3 litre, 0 to 16 on a year, 13.7 or 9 seconds, I can't remember which one. I used to think, oh, it's quite a nip in this. Like, you know, when you've just passed your test, I learned to drive in this car, so many good memories. And the few of your mates might have, like, the sport car, the 1.6 litre. Uh, a few of your mates might have, like, a Mini Cooper, again, like a 1.4, 1.6. And a few of your mates would have, like, a 1 litre, like, uh, I'm trying to think what a 1 litre, maybe a Fiesta 1 litre or something like that. Let's whip it around this roundabout. Listen to that noise. That's the sound of a cheap indicator. And I remember when I got out of this car into mirror signal maneuver, you what? <laughs> I remember when I got out of this car into a Fiesta ST, oh, I burnt him off the line there. Uh, Fiesta ST, no, Fiesta Z-Tech S. And the indicator made a different noise, like a better noise, like a more high quality noise. I thought, yeah made it now the indicator and on here you'll see now the indicator when I do kind of slam it on it doesn't tell you which way you're indicating it, ooh, I've got a fifth gear. it just tells you that you are indicating which is better than better than nothing um, lights I think they work the, the, the light that tells me the lights work doesn't work but, but like a light, I, I think it works I think it works oh we're flying down the hill now we've actually got to the national speed limit for the first time ever I was tempted to try and put it in sixth gear then, but I don't fancy banging it in reverse at 60 miles an hour downhill. Not really, no. Guys, if you've got any ideas for content that you want to see with this, by all means, get in the comments below and let me know. Really, 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 really excited with this, as you can probably tell. I'm just buzzing. It's given me something to do during lockdown. It's given us a bit of a project. I say us. We're on the way now to go and pick Laura up. Uh, and the good news is, I've got her on the insurance for it. <laughs> something this old this cheap and this slow wow heard a few noises which uh, uh, they gave me a bit nervous I mean I'm not a mechanic so I'm not 100% sure but yeah a few noises which although it's a 12 year old car so I suppose you're gonna do aren't you why are people going turning in here don't turn you're in my way. I don't care that you live down there. You shouldn't live down there. Oh, this is a terrible... I've had a nightmare. I'd pull out, but I'd probably stall and kill myself. Right, that one's clear. We'll find the bite. Find the, the old driving instructor would be proud of me here. Still nothing coming. Find the bite. All systems go! Oh, we got a wheel spin! <laughs> Yeah. Wheel spin. They were the days. We've got electric mirrors as well, I should probably say. Um, that's something which... So I haven't actually mentioned why the ZTEC Air is called the ZTEC Air. We've got air con. How could I not have told you that? This is, I'm, I'm doing my B-roll afterwards and I can't believe I haven't got it in. I'm going to work this in. So there's a few different models. There was the car style, I think. The car life. The KA... I might have gone from car to KA, but I have. The KA ZTEC and then the ZTEC Air. ZTEC Air was pretty much top of the range at the time and basically yeah, it had aircon so uh, for those two days in summer when it was a bit warm we were living the dream as Chris would say with a little bit of aircon so absolutely brilliant my sister had a white one she had the KA finale like the final one they ever made and that had a chessboard on the roof it did it did so um, yeah I'm really pleased that I've um, remembered that actually KA ZTEC Air that's the noise. Ah, oh, she's going to be so mad. She... I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm going to be honest. I hope she sees the fun side in it. And I hope she sees the side in it that... We're going to make loads of content in this. We're going to get lots of laughs in it. Hopefully you're all going to enjoy it and subscribe and like. 
you'd be doing me a massive favour if you did because then she'll see that it's not a massive waste of time. Um, but yeah, like, I guess that's it really for this first video. I've brought it back, I took it on a first little whiz. It runs like an absolute dream. And I kind of feel like I'm on my way to sixth form a little bit. Like this, I remember, I've never had a steering wheel this shape since and you just kind of put your hands on there and just off to sixth form. No, I actually enjoyed sixth form to be fair, so. One of the awesome points about this car, you can see that I've got the GoPro on the roof now. I keep chopping and changing where the GoPro goes, so I have to kind of jump into little spaces to swap it because I don't want to be calling in at massive places everywhere. It's so easy just to whip in and whip out. It is perfect. I'm so happy. So happy. Um, but yeah, that's, I think, have I got anything else to cover with you? Lights work? Oh, yeah, light works. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Lots more coming. If you want to see Laura's kind of reaction video, that is in fourth, third, oh, it's in fifth. If you want to see Laura's reaction video, make sure you do check out, um, I might even throw it on tomorrow. I'm going to film it right now, so there's not going to be a lot of time between them. I might give you a day, actually. So whatever day this goes on, might be Sunday, Give us till Tuesday and it'll be on, four o'clock usual time, um, and give me a bit of support. Just like, I know it's probably, yeah. I'm happy with it anyway. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm sorry that Laura hasn't been um, here today. Am I sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry Laura hasn't been here today. The dog's not here either. Um, I can't believe I got it past it to be honest. So the guys that show for Laura's delivered it just down the road for me. I've told them exactly what was going on and they were absolutely perfect with it. So um, apart from that, I'm well aware I'm dragging this out throughout. So I'll see you later. Bye. Now we've just had a birthday. As if you were the one to give it its birthday. Well, oh, taking it around the corner. <laughs>